and welcome back to Trey's Auto. Today we have a 2020 uh, Lincoln Aviator Hybrid Grand Touring Plug-In in a Chroma Caviar color. Very beautiful color. Moving around to the front of the vehicle we have the signature chrome grille with a little blue accent to symbolize the hybrid pl plug-in technology that we are we have on board. Very beautiful body lines as you can see. The aviator badging is up top. And right here, this little square, if you can see it, is for your key if the battery was to, di to die at some point. Put the key in that slot to unlock the door. Here is our plug-in for our electric capabilities. And here is the 3.0 liter uh, twin turbo V6 plug-in hybrid. Uh, horsepower is at 494. Uh, 630 uh, pound-foot of torque with the 10-speed automatic transmission and all-wheel drive. Uh, steering is rack and pinion. Uh, front struts uh, with uh, rear suspension is multi-link. Two seventy-five by forty-five. Uh, all twenty-one wheels. The Taking a look at the window sticker, we're at ninety-one thousand one forty for this black label aviator, and. As far as with um, electric and gasoline combined is 56 miles per gallon and gasoline only you're at 23 miles per gallon. This one is uh, equipped with the trailer tow package, the full rear console and the black label uh, theme. Going down the side of the vehicle we got chrome mirrors. Uh, they are auto folding. And there's our blind spot monitoring right there in the mirror. And making our way to the back of the vehicle, we have a we have very, very beautiful body lines again with the Lincoln uh, written right there. We put our hand right in this area and we push the button, and the power lift gate will open. And here is our plug in for the vehicle. Should run about 20 miles with the plug in at a full charge. And we got the power third row. Push the button and down she goes. And that allows for plenty of storage space. You could get plenty of toilet paper and paper towels in this vehicle. And to uh, go back up, we just push the button and should rise back up for you. Now, with the seats up, there would be room for less paper towels and toilet paper, but that's just something to consider. And going up here, there's our lock and our power lift gate to close. Nice chime when it goes down, so you don't get hit in the head. Let's go to the, the second row. Now this cashmere interior is a black label uh, interior package. Very, very pretty. You can see the detail in the seats. As far as you see quality, it is very, very good quality. You can tell. Now sitting in this back back seat is, you know, very comfortable. You can see I got plenty of head space, um, which is definitely something to consider at 6'5". 
um, plenty of leg room. Just move it around and there's our shots at the front. You can see that nice uh, display touch screen. Looking up, we've got the uh, Vista moonroof. It goes back farther, but it is not all the way back at this point. We've got nice quality deep cup holders. We've got climate control back here. We've also got a USB connection and we also got a, um, a power outlet uh, in case you need to bring your uh, toaster or starting on the driver's door. We've got nice soft touch, uh, cashmere color uh, leather. We've got the push button, electric push button for the uh, door, electronic. We've got our power windows, we've got our mirrors, we've got our locks and unlocks, we've got our power seats and our memory seat settings one two and three if you notice we open the door you got a nice Lincoln emblem on the door jam there's our hood release that pulls two times to open and there's our fuel door and our push button uh, for truck release there's our lights. Sitting down in the um, Lincoln, I really like the, um, the grayish black and the cashmere um, integrated together on the steering wheel. Very nice soft touch. Beautiful Lincoln logo. We've got very quality buttons as you do. you don't push the buttons actually you toggle down and on this side you toggle down and up as well got a home button over here on the dash we've got ready to drive we've got our indicator uh, at 18 miles for the plug-in electric technology so that number will go down but just plug her back in and she'll be good to go. Over here we have our push button uh, to start her up. We've got our signature Lincoln touchscreen. Very responsive controls as you can see with audio, phone, navigation, apps, and settings. Scrolls very simultaneously. It's good to see. Very little delay. We've got our piano dial push buttons. Report reverse, neutral, and drive. And down here, if we don't want to touch the display, we can also use these uh, buttons. The heat and cooling seats, the climate control, volume. Uh, we can lock the rear door. And we've got source and seek and tune. And then we've got a nice compartments in the console. Just put some uh, in the USB port and put in for some chewing gum or Mentos or something like that in there. We've got our cup holders. Nice deep cup holders. We'll change the pocket. We've got our different drive modes and we have our parking brake. We we'll go over here to the drive modes. We've got Slippery, deep conditions, normal, conserve, and excite. If you just hear that, but the motor just turned over. Hybrid mode. The backup camera and the 360 camera resolution are, are phenomenal. I mean, look at that detail in there. They certainly have come a long way over the years. Very nice, intuitive um, 360 camera with the lines. Kind of keep you guided in the spot. Very, very sleek designing dash. Very nice material, I can tell. 
and up top we've got our controls for our moonroof as well as LED lighting so next we're gonna go ahead and uh, take this thing on the road and uh, see what see what she's got stay tuned here we go guys I'm really excited about this one I want to see the you know when the hybrid kicks in electric kicks in and the you know how it pertains to and kind of integrates with the um, gasoline engine um, so far it just feels more control than the navigator I'm not saying the navigator doesn't drive uh, great because it does it definitely drives excellent but it just it's just a little different of an animal visibility is great um, beautiful body lines on the nose on the nose of the vehicle are, are really very visible and that's in a it complements the car well great steering wheel again like the uh, similar to the navigator the Corsair with your with your um, voice command button right here on the left where my thumb is we're gonna turning very well very good acceleration very good acceleration but in excite mode because you know why not be excited i mean this thing is awesome oh uh, the chime you heard was my fuel gauge going down to 50 miles to empty the 10 speed uh, automatic is working flawlessly this thing does have some good pep Um, seats are extremely comfortable. Seats are better than my recliner at the house, that's for sure. I probably like, I'd like to just sit this thing and watch television. I can uh, definitely see some people uh, staring at me as I ride down the road. Um, she's definitely a looker. You know, and not going up to the Navigator, this, this is definitely uh, you know one of the most attractive vehicles in that uh, luxury market. turns on the dime one more time on it very good acceleration with the way I've been driving this thing the uh, hybrid or the uh, plug-in electric technology was not utilized during this test drive unfortunately but still got to experience the vehicle you know at its best which is great and to kind of sum up you know uh, today's video these aviators are really great. They're enjoyable to drive. They have they have been put together amazingly, and especially with this um, plug-in hybrid. I mean, if this is a game changer for the uh, crossover world, and you know, Lincoln's finally getting into that aspect of it with the other with other manufacturers, and that's great to see. Um, the fit and finish of the car is phenomenal. Um, this. This uh, black label interior is really, really beautiful. Um, it's definitely a head turner. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, uh, I'd really, really appreciate if you'd go ahead and subscribe. I've got plenty of uh, good content coming. Uh, you know, and some of it's, it's going to be more than just Lincoln's, but um, I really wanted to go through the lineup. At, you know, at this point, and then we'll move from there. Uh, so, if you enjoyed the content, give me a like, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Later.